Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Conard, a family doctor who works with corporations to make sure that their employees and their family members are kept safe. I want to talk to you today a little bit about testing. Now, your body actually responds to the virus when you get infected, and it makes what we call antibodies, which lock onto the virus and keep the virus from being able to spread to other cells and eventually kills, leads to the death of the virus. There are two antibodies. One's called IgM, and I think of that like the Marines. They're big, they're strong, they're, they're brave. They rush in to the infection as quick as they can when a, person, when a virus enters your body. The second one's called IgG, which are like the ground troops. And there are cells in your body that can make 500,000 of those a minute. So we're talking about you can really, really have a lot of IgG attack a virus, whereas the Marines they are not nearly as many, the IgMs. IgM, that test becomes positive around seven days after the virus is infecting your body, and it usually dis they disappear about 21 days after the virus has in, in, it invaded your body. Now, those are not strict numbers. Those are you know plus or minus a day or two. The IgG usually appears around day 10 to 14, and hopefully it stays in your body a long time because that confers ongoing immunity to the virus or protection from the virus. And we don't know how long it lasts for COVID. We're thinking uh, that in most people, it's gonna be a year or two at least, kind of like the flu vaccine will protect you for a year or two. Then you have the IgG and IgM antibodies. Those tests too are not reliable all the time, although they're getting better every day. I read an article this morning that there's one that's actually quite good, um, but there are 41 different ones out there, so you gotta be careful about which one you use. And what that tells you is that you have had the infection at least seven days ago if IgM's positive, or probably closer to 14 days ago with IgG, but IgG hopefully will stay positive for a long time. So I hope that's ho helpful. And I hope that uh, you stay safe and you don't have to worry about interpreting your COVID test because you don't get the virus. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Scott Conard, committed to keeping you and your family safe during the COVID pandemic.